you people, this is Bradley here coming from the GamingPixelShow.com. Today I'm going to be doing a video review for Boom! V v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v is published by Nicholas, came out in North America on December 29, 2011, so it's been out for some months, And but I decided to download it and review it. And in this game, it is a platform puzzle type of game, and the graphics are influenced by the Commodore 64. And in this game, the story is that you play as Captain Viridian, who is the captain of a spaceship, and you have five other crew members with you. And all of you get sucked into another dimension, and you all get scattered throughout the dimension. And your job as Captain Viridian is to go out and rescue your crew members. So, let's see what this game has to offer. So the controls in this game are very simple. You use the D-pad or the circle pad to move left or right. And then you can use any other button, the A, B, X, Y, or L, or R, to flip yourself from the ceiling to the ground. And this flipping motion is a major part of the gameplay because the game requires you to jump on miniature platforms, all the while dodging death-dealing spikes of doom. So amazingly, VVVVVV reminded me of the 2D Metroid titles because like in the 2D Metroid titles, you like platform your way through rooms that are like the size of the screen and then once you walk off the screen, you go into like another room and that's kind of like what happens in VVVVVV and also you have like a map on the bottom of the screen like in Metroid and you start off with a blank map and then once you platform your way through the rooms, you start uncovering the game world and the map starts to become more clear and this is a engaging part of the gameplay, the uncovering the map, because it adds to the sense of mystery, because you want to uncover these unknown areas and see what's hidden there. So be prepared to die. A lot. Yeah, this game is not forgiving. You'll find yourself like dying hundreds of times while going through this adventure. I know like once I completed the game by rescuing all five of the crew members, I died like over 500 times, which is quite a lot of deaths. And um, this game is pretty awesome because of the respawning. The, you respawn super fast, and you don't have to worry about any of those black screens with the game over plastered on it while listening to some sorrowful music in the background. You don't have to worry about that. You die, and then boom, you respawn. You start at the checkpoint that you reach, and boom, you're back in the game world, and you can go back and do some more platforming. Visually, there's nothing really special here. The graphics are pretty plain because the game is influenced by the graphics of the Commodore 64. So you'll go through rooms that are like red, blue, and yellow, and other colors. It's pretty plain. And yeah, there's nothing special to gaze and wonder at here. Also, the 3D is pretty much worthless. It's like a gimmick. And because like it uses like the 3D in the background with like the starry skies and space, and you don't even bother to look at the 3D in the background because you're too engrossed and trying to platform your way through the levels and trying to get through the hard parts and stuff like that so the, the 3D is pretty much worthless and I was pretty disappointed with that. So the soundtrack in VVV VVV is chiptune music so you'll be hearing a lot of beeps while you're playing the game but the soundtrack is awesome in this game I even liked it better than what like Mutant Muds has soundtrack wise I don't really know what else to say about the soundtrack but that it's it's a nice soundtrack and it's a plus for this game. VVV VVV is a stash pile of replay value when I was playing the game, I completed, like, rescuing all five of the crew members in, like, an hour and 30 minutes. And I was like, how does this $79 price tag justify this limited amount of reap of gameplay? But then there's also other stuff for you to do. There's a trophy room that you can fill up with trophies by completing certain objectives. There's also a time trials mode where you can go through certain little levels and try to best your times and try to get a V rating, which will help you get some trophies in the trophy room. So like on the main menu there's this place called player levels where you can play through multiple games that are like the main story game which will help you keep you occupied to raise the length of the gameplay. So yeah that's something to do after you're done. So yeah there's stuff to do after you're done playing the main story of the game. In conclusion VVV VVV has engaging gameplay, awesome music, and worthless 3D graphics, but it culminates, culminates into an enjoyable experience. I would have liked if the main story of the game had more length to it, but oh well. But the GamingPixelShow.com is rewarding VVVVVV an 8 out of 10.